I'm scared to see what's inside. Why are you scared to see what's inside? Because there might be a lot of hornets in there. Good morning, modern steaders. Today, we're going to cut open our paper wasp's nest. You ready? Yeah. But mom said we got to put on our bee suits. So first, we need to get suited up before okay. we go outside. You going to get suited up? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Pluto thinks she's going to be coming out, but guess what? Mm -hmm. She's staying in the house. Ready to go out? Not yet. You're all suited up. You need a hand? Yeah. You need to help zip you? So zip that up all the way. There you go. Turn around. Nope. Can you start to give Yep. I went and picked up a special knife for this today. You want to hold it and carry it outside? Yeah. Here we go. Perfect fit. Got your gloves on. Sorry, Pluto, you gotta stay in. You can't come out. You want the door shut? What if the hornets all come out? We won't be able to escape as fast. Oh, we can go out the window? All right. And anyways, they're not going to be alive. You don't think they're going to be alive? No. You want to pick up and put it on the table? Like on the board? Yep. What do you want me to do? Here, I'll help. It's heavy, ain't it? Yeah. The board is. Yeah. Like, oh, well, there's two hundreds on the floor. Alright, let me get suited up. What do you think we're going to find inside? Dead one up. Dead hornets. Think there's gonna be any alive hornets in there? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. You excited? Yeah. Is it like a science experiment? Yeah. Hey, it's not super tough. I get it. All right. You ready to cut into this thing? Yeah. If you want to do the first cut, or you want me to do it? You want me to do the first cut? Well, mom will be proud. We got our bee suits on. Yeah. Right. Let's see if we can cut into it. You want to cut some? Sure. I can't have all the fun. We're not going to the other side. Oh, you can tell we're into something now. It's getting hard. Hey, hold on. All right, the knife wasn't long enough. You want to cut it through the other side now? So, you have to follow it right down. I'm scared to see what's inside. Why are you scared to see what's inside? Because there might be a lot of hornets in there, but I doubt there is. You don't think so? Cover back in the No, let me just make sure it's cut all the way through first. I'm going to step back and open it. You're gonna step back. You don't wanna see what's inside? I do, but I don't, but I don't wanna make sure that there's not gonna be like any flying points. Okay. Cause there's a... You're scared? Yeah. Why are you scared? Cause, just to make sure there's no flying hornets coming out. All right, let's see what's in here. Ready? <laughs> Did I get you? No. Oh man. <laughs> Ooh, pretty cool. I think we got it. Cut it from this side. Mm -hmm. All right. I was hoping we could save it. I mean, it's not in bad shape, but it's not mm, good shape. In perfect yeah. shape. Yeah. But I mean, if we cut like a little bit of like the honeycomb off. We could probably do something with that. We could probably shellac it and put it up against a wall. Yeah. And somebody would think we'd have a hornet's nest sticking out of our wall. What do you think is in there? Probably like leftover honey. That is pretty wild. 
don't think Mom would be very happy with us though. Or like we cut huh. off a piece of the honeycomb. And I don't know about you, but I'm taking off my bee suit now. There's nothing coming out at us. Yeah, I'm cold, so. No, I'm just taking my hat off. No, I know. I'm just cold, so I'm just. You're cold. You're keeping your hat on. And my gloves. And your gloves. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Do you want to cut into it some more, or? No, I want to save this piece because we could probably frame it or something. We want to cut this half open some more yeah. then. Yeah. And we can keep this one. Yeah. Cause here, hold on. Watch out with that knife. Oh man. Let's keep this side, because okay. this side's got the yeah. hole. So let's keep this side, where okay. this side was the side up against the house, and it kind of looks meh. Nah. So, want to flip this one yeah, over. Yeah, wait, I just want to take this honeycomb off, but there's... There you go, you want to see that honeycomb? Yeah, we can also probably keep it on frame it. You like that? Yeah. You see it up close? The hexagon shape. So we're gonna cut this thing open. Yep, you wanna cut it open? Just watch your hand. Oh wow. Can you hold the Okay, let's do this. Wait one second. Let's see if we can Hold on. You having fun dissecting that? Yeah. Do you want to try to get the honeycomb out of the paper? Oh, yeah, yeah. So Olivia was asking about, she's like, wow, that looks like paper mache, which it does. And what I was telling her is what a lot of people left in the comments was saying that they're paper wasps that make this. And what they do is they go around, they chew up wood, like dead wood. Then they, re they spit it out, regurgitate it. And that's how they build their nest. Look at that, that is just like paper mache. Yeah. And that's how you make paper mache, right? Mm -hmm. Is you just get paper wet, grind it up, and... I did want it to be right over the honeycomb, and it's gross. It's right Top is definitely heavy. Wow, that's pretty wild. Look at that. Oh, it's stuck together in the center. Can we shake it out just to make sure that there's no on any <laughs> hornets in there? No hornets, they're all dead. Yeah, well I mean like if there's any more dead hornets because there was one right there. Well I'm sure there's gonna be more dead hornets. Do you wanna cut into it? Sure. Let me see, get a close up. This thing's pretty hot. I'll hold it, just don't cut my fingers. Okay. Okay, now run the knife this way in between. What do you think of that? Look at that. So there's no eggs or anything in there. It's pretty much empty. I, I think some, like that one, is that an egg? It's ca something is capped. Yeah, you're right there. I don't know. There's also some up here. Yeah, they were capped that probably had eggs in it or something. There's a dehydrated butt. Some kind of wasp butt right there. Can I poke all the holes? You want to go for it. Cut another one. I think you're having fun, aren't you? Yeah. Can I see that knife for one minute? Just want to do a little cross section here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know. Those might have been eggs, lava. Yeah, I think that was lava in there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You want to cut those up some more? 
I'll let you. It definitely feels just like paper, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not waxy like a, like a beehive, like our beehive honeycomb. That was waxy, huh, Libby's? Yeah. This isn't. This just feels just like paper. So that is wild. Different. They're not bees. They're wasps, but they're in the same family. A different insect, even though they kind of do the same thing. They don't make honey, but they have a different style of honeycomb. They make the same honeycomb, but it's made out of different material, which I just think is wild. I, mean, I don't know if you can see the two-tone there. The top is just like paper mache, and on the bottom is nice and white. It's just kind of mind-boggling that they can make the different colors with different materials. Wow. I don't think you need your knife for that one. Well, let's peel it. It's like an onion with layers. I cut it. You're cutting into it. Yeah, it's so many different layers. Got a layer. It's pretty wild. It sounds like paper. It feels just like you said, like paper mache. Yeah, and it also sounds like paper. Feels like it. Could you do anything with it? Probably not. Probably not. What are we gonna do with the nest now? We're we gonna put it in the wood stove in the basement and burn it. And then we'll save that other half. Mm -hmm. And we'll shellac it. You wanna save some of that? We yeah. can save some and of the paper. Also that that big long piece of honeycomb. All that oh the narrow long narrow piece? Yeah, what'd you do with it? I don't know what happened to it. I know that I didn't cut into it. I don't know where it went. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's keep it there. You want to keep that? Yeah, where's the cover to the... Cover to the knife is right here. And then we'll burn this stuff. What do you think? Was that fun? Yeah. I had a good time. You want that off? You're warm. I'm still cold. Still cold? Okay. We should do another science project like this again. Yeah. You have to think of one. What do you think would be another fun science project? Um, what do you think would be another fun science project for me and Olivia to do? That was fun dissecting the paper wasp nest. I'll have to think of some other ones to do, but this was fun and interesting. I learned a lot. Did you learn a lot? Yeah. Pretty cool. If you have any questions on it, leave it down below. If you're new to the channel, now is a great opportunity for you to subscribe. And while you're down there, ring the bell. That'll turn on notifications, and hopefully YouTube will let you know when we go live, upload a video, or post something to the community tab. The best way to stay up to date with Lumna Acres is remember we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. And go over to our website, lumnaacres.com. I'll put a link here in the description down below. Sign up for our newsletter, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Mom the Acres, a guide to modern home studying, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye. All right. I don't have a huge fire going, but there still should be some cold going. Oh, yeah. See you later, guys. You won't be bothering our house anymore. There it goes. I know a few of you are probably happy to see that. There was a lot of comments saying, burn it, burn it. So we burnt that half at least. The other half will shellac 
We'll hang it in the outdoor kitchen right on the wall. That'll look nice. <laughs>